belief that some prejudice belief that he committed a crime. They don't call the police. They don't give him due process. They try to take the law into their own hands. And then to hear these defense attorneys, you know, to tell the family who can help them go through this journey, that they don't want black pastors coming in the courtroom. Almost as if, like the killers of Ahmaud Arbery, they have a right to impose their will, their mentality on the family. And then worst of all, Attorney Robinson is just to hear the defense lawyer in closing argument say, you know, why the market, I can't even don't begin. Don't to so far the defendants in this case have filed at least six a motion, motions to dismiss or a mistrial, uh, motions for mistrial. Um, I'm not going to give them additional fodder by uh, making any statements that may make it appear that we're trying to influence the jury even today. Uh, the jury has listened to all the evidence in the case. They've paid attention. Uh, the prosecution has done everything in their power to present to them a full, thorough, and accurate picture of what what happened on February 23rd of 2020. They have more than enough evidence to convict these men on all 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 of the charges that, that, that are before them. And so now it is uh, incumbent upon us just to wait, to be patient. We understand that uh, a verdict can come back today. There's more than enough evidence for them to come back with a verdict today. But if it takes through the holiday, if it takes through next week, uh, uh, however long it takes, we want them to get it right. Um, and so, so, and so we're not, you know, this is not Vegas odds. This is a family looking for justice for the murder of their son. And we want them to treat it with the same gravity and importance that we uh, we committed to. And um, you know, on behalf of the family, we'll, we will let, wait as long as it takes. Reverend Al wants let, to let me just say this, and, and we're not influencing whenever we come back. We call people kids names like that. We don't call preachers names like that. Even ministers, we disagree with. I don't know what kind of heart they have. But we have a heart of prayer, right. and we hope that God will bring us justice, not a favor, just justice. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you. As many gather around the world to celebrate a Thanksgiving Day, we give thanks that you gave us the mind to stand with those that need consolation and strength at this day. This is not about a turkey for us. This is about justice. Yes, this is about family. This is about, you told us in the same Matthew 18 chapter, that if you bring one of my numbers, it's better than a millstone. Yes. And we abide by your word. Your word. We told this mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, that if she put her faith in your hand, that she'd make her way out of nowhere. We told Mark that if he would just let his anger translate into plea, that you make his enemies his footstool. And we depend on you today, Lord, to give us some justice and to give them a peace beyond understanding. We can't ask you to give Ahmed back, but we can ask you to give Ahmed justice so that the Ahmed of the world will remember his name. And today that America made a breakthrough, yes, Lord. even Lord. here in Georgia, yes, that yes. there was a breakthrough. Was Bless breakthrough. these lawyers yes, Lord. that have Thank stood you. tall and strong amidst yes. criticism. Bless the Lord. And bless all of us. We may have different tactics yes, and different ways that we are acting, but that we've stood in some operational unity yes, to call on you. And if we get the victory, we will not go brag or strut. Right. We'll give That's your name all the glory. And the praise unto thee. These blessings we ask in your name and for thy sake.